people i'm back with another video and in today's video i'm going to be showing you all how to apply press on nails using gel base coat it's actually a hema free base coat um to apply your press on nails so the first thing you'll need here is a gooseneck lamp um, i'm going to be using one that is motion sensor so as you all can see when you put your hand in front of it it the light automatically turns on absolutely love this light i think it is a huge game changer for gel x nails and press ons Next, I'm going to be using these pre-colored soft gel tips from Model Ones, and these come in four different colors. They were super affordable. I'll link them down below. These are the four colors that's included. Next thing you'll want to do is size out the nail to make sure it fits your nail bed. Um, also, when you can see through that nail tip, that's how you know you can use it for Gel-X nails. I chose these white nails for my design. This here is the base and top coat I'm going to be using is from Canny. It is HEMA-free and vegan and yeah absolutely love this top coat so with this gel base and top these press on nails and the gooseneck lamp that i'm about to bring in frame this is how you'll be able to do some gel x nails for under 25 bucks so yeah let's hop into it um the first thing you want to do is make sure you push back your cuticles file shape buff your nails um, then you want to go in with a dehydrator i'm going to be using my swipe from young nails um, next thing you want to do is you will go in with um, a primer and so I'm going to be using my primer from Young Nails. It's Protein Bond. And you'll apply just one coat to all the nails. I'm going to be doing this with like a pop-off method. And so um, the primer is optional if you want them to come off a little bit quicker. Uh, but yeah, you just do one quick coat of that on all of the nails. And once that is finished, um, then you're going to go in with a peel-off base. Again, if you don't want the nails to pop off, you want to skip this Maron peel-off base, but this is my holy grail. I normally get about a week to two weeks worth of wear using this uh, peel-off base coat. And it is very thick, so you really, I'm able to coat all of my nails typically with just one stroke of the brush. Like, I don't have to dip back in. Um, and so, yeah, you'll apply a really, really thin layer, let it self-level, and then cure for 60 seconds. And after you're done with curing that, then you're going to go in and um, apply the press-ons. And so this here, I have them all uh, picked out and ready to go. Um, one of the things you do want to do uh, with the press-ons is make sure you etch the inside of it so that um, it has a better adhesion. Um, I forgot to show this earlier, but uh, these press-on nails do already come pre-etched. And so I'm going to show you the inside of this. As you can see, the bottom of it is matte. The top of it is glossy. So you can skip this step if you want. I still do it just for safety measures. Um, and to make sure there's good adhesion. And so after that, you'll go ahead and take the press on nail of choice. And then you're going to apply um, a little bit of the gel base into the nail. Here I'm just getting my gooseneck lamp here in frame. Um, and again, I'm just excited about it being motion sensor. Because when I say this makes life so much easier, it makes life so much easier. So yeah. So you'll take a little bit of that candy base coat once again. And you'll just... Apply it to the inside of the press-on nail. Um, and what I like to do is I like to coat the inside of the nail where I feel like my natural nail is going to meet the press-on. That way I'm not applying too, too much product, um, just enough. So again, I'm going to coat it nice thin layer um, on the entire inside of the nail where my natural nail is going to meet the press-on. And then I apply just a little dab of extra product right there at the cuticle area. And then what I'll do is um, I'm just getting my light into position here. I will line it up at my cuticle and then I will let the gel allow its way to kind of um, flow down to the free edge. And then after that, I'll put it underneath the light and cure. And I'll cure for about 10 to 15 seconds with this. Um, it's really just a flash cure. And then when you're done applying all the nails, then you'll do the full 60 second cure underneath your big lamp. But again, about 10 to 15 seconds will get it nice and in place. And as you all can see, look at the application. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna show you guys this one more time in real time. And so again, I'm gonna take my press on nail and then I'm gonna apply just a little bit of that gel to the inside of the nail. And again, I'm gonna coat it, um, just paint it as, as, as if I would just applying gel polish and uh, where my nail is gonna meet the nail bed. And then just a little bit of excess glue right there at the cuticle. I'm going to flip it over and then I'm going to line it up with my cuticle area. And again, I'm going to let that gel just slowly make its way down. So again, line it up at the cuticle, let the gel work its way down. 
and then underneath the light and cure. And so again, I'll do that for about 10 to 15 seconds. And you just want to make sure it cures just enough so that the product isn't moving around much. And then I'm going to speed through me doing the rest of this and I'll be back here shortly. But before I do that, y'all, let's pause for the cause. Look at how good these nails are. Okay. Application is flawless. All right. Okay. So let me speed through really quick and show you all how I get them all applied. Okay. So this is what they all look like applied. And just again, application was really great and easy. And so I do want to show you all how I got this finished look with my simple nail design. Um, so I'm going to show you all really quick how I achieved the look on this hand. So we're starting off with this uh, base and the nail tips applied. First thing you'll want to do is uh, go in with top coat underneath the nails because the base coat is exposed. Um, you don't want any dirt and debris to get caught in the sticky layer from the base coat. And so I'm just going to apply a thin layer of the base coat to the underneath of the nails just to secure and seal everything in. Okay, and after that's been applied, you cure for 60 seconds. Now, after that's been cured for 60 seconds, you'll want to go ahead and file off that little tip. There's a lot of press-on nails that come with that little tab at the, at the tip. Um, right here, I'm showing it to you. You want to file that part off. And so I'm going to just round off all of the nails um, just so that they look nice and crisp. So I will do that really quick. Next, um, to, if you had any spillage during the application, what you'll want to do first is just separate it from your skin. And I'm going to separate it here so that I can um, file it away. You don't want to keep that exposed. You don't want to keep that gel on your skin exposed like that because it could cause um, an allergic reaction. I think it's called contact dermatitis. And that's not something that you all want to have, especially when dealing with gel products, because once you get it, you can't get rid of it. And so I'm just making sure I get all of that gel away from my skin so that I can file it. Going in with my Coreless Melody Suzy file. And I'm, I'm on a low RPM here and I'm just filing it away. Just kind of focusing the tip of that uh, right into the cuticle area um, just to kind of create a gap or space inside of the gel that spewed over so that it can just flake off. And so you'll want to do that to all of the nails that experience any type of spillage whatsoever. That way, again, you're just protecting your skin and making sure you're being safe about using and applying the Gel-X method. Beautiful. Okay, so once that has been filed, um, if there's any that kind of got really, really close, I'll go in with my regular hand file and just file it down, just getting it really close to the nail itself. Um, but after you do that, then you'll want to go through and um, buff the surface of all the nails. And so you'll see me do that here shortly. Um, just admire how cute my nails are. But yeah, you'll buff the surface and you'll want to get rid of that shiny top coat. That way you can go in with application. And by buffing the nail too, it's also going to allow for that base coat and that top coat that you want to apply just to kind of reinforce the nail, give it a little more strength, something to adhere to. Okay. And so I am going to go ahead and wipe off my nails with a little bit of alcohol um, just to, again, get rid of any dirt and debris, have a clean surface to work on. And then look at that. And I honestly like how it looks matte. What about you guys? You see the matte versus glossy? I mean, they both are cute. If you wanted to, you could stop here and just do base and top, but I'm going to do some more designs. So I have some abstract stickers here. I'm just going to pull off this sticker and apply it. I'm just going to essentially match the design to what I have on my right hand. Um, so I'll let you guys see me work my magic with that, but I'm just being careful about where I place it, um, just to give the nails a really cute, quick, easy design. I'm putting a rose here on that ring finger, applying a couple more faces here on the middle finger. And yeah, this is, this is a chance for you all to just be creative and, um, let your creativity shine through. So, um, any design that you all see fit, you can do that on the nail. And once you're done with the design, then you'll go in with another layer of base coat. And that's just going to allow for the top coat to adhere to the press on nail. So I'm going to apply a layer of the base coat really quick. Beautiful. Then you flip for six, flip for 10 seconds, cure for 60. Then I'm going to go in with my diamond top coat. Again, you'll do a nice even layer of that. Apply it to all the nails.
flip for 10 seconds cure for 60 apply cuticle oil and let's get into the finished look all right you guys ain't she cute though yes loving how it turned out i wanted to give you guys a really quick um version of the video to show you guys the application process on its own so i was able to do both hands in less than an hour and they turned out really cute so if you all are wanting some salon quality nails at a fraction of the cost i would highly recommend this method i am going to be coming out with a part two of this video that has the update of how long they lasted i was able to get three weeks of wear off of that and um if you want to see the full detailed tutorial that i have i'm going to leave that link down in the description box below that is already live on my channel where i go into more detail about the products as well as um how the longevity of these nails i'll see you in my next video thanks for watching